Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to see the Arcane OS based on Android version 11. So guys, let's begin. So here is the Android 11 ROM, the Arcane OS, the security patch level we get is the November 5th, the kernel we get here is the Radcliffe kernel, the maintainer here is Sharma G. Okay, so this is a, this is the settings page, a little bit redesigned and going to the home screen, this is looking like the Android 12 UI because of the themed icons. Looking to the settings, the settings are a bit rearranged. The sound here is up on top, the system here is up here. So first of all moving to the security here, the fi fingerprint scanner here is working perfectly fine as you can see no issues with the fingerprint scanner. It is working, the face unlock option here is also available which is also working fine. App locker here is available which is also working so no issues. The security everything each and every feature, the security feature is available, app locker, face lock everything. Moving to the battery here, the battery backup on this room is good. The graph as usual just don't get reset. I don't know when this bug will be solved. Even after the reboot, the graph just don't get reset. So talking about the battery backup, the battery life on this room is good. Uh, here as you can see from 75% to 27% battery drain, I got 3 hours 39 minutes of screen on time which is at 120 hertz refresh rate. And here is another example, 91% to 19% battery drain, I got 4 hours and 42 minutes of screen on time, which is almost 5 hours of screen on time. And this is at 120Hz refresh rate, so if you will use the phone at 60Hz, then the battery backup will be just good. And charging time here, so to charge this phone from 19% to 90%, it took 50 minutes only. So. The battery life you will get on this room is good but, and the battery charging time also are good so no worries with that. Going to the system, here we get to see the option Tresidin's Liar and these are the only options, the customization options available, nothing here is available uh, other than this. The gaming mode here is available, you can turn it on from here and the gestures and everything will be just get disabled if you want. Then we get to see the status bar, customization, the system icons, network traffic monitor and everything. Going to the buttons here, these are the options, the system navigation, power menu and call and everything. The system navigation, these are the options, the gestures. Then you can adjust the gesture bar length, the like long, short and everything, whatever you want. This is the default gesture bar length and you can set to hidden also. This is the default one, you don't get to see the smaller gesture bar if you want. Then we get to see the haptic feedback on the gesture. These are the other options, the POCO parts we get to see here, the LCD features, the display color calibration we get to see. So you can just adjust the display from here. You can set the vibration strength. So these are some options available in the system. Then we get to see the secret shop which is nothing other than wallpaper and style. So we get to see the wallpaper, you can add, you can choose whatever the, whatever the font you want. These are all the fonts available, the slate for OnePlus, open source. So these are all the font styles available. Then, okay, then going next, choose the accent color, then choose the icon shape and you can just apply. So this is the theming options available and it's just good you can customize it whatever you want but as you saw that the home screen the icons shape just didn't get changed and here in the status in the quick settings it got changed so to change this uh, shape of the icons on the in the launcher then you need to go to the home settings this is the launcher launcher available you can change the icon shape from here these are the options the system circle and squiggle so you can change the icon shape from the home settings if you want to okay then moving to the display options these are the options as you can see this animation here is looking cool the brightness level this live display rotation settings and you can rotate up to 180 degree 
which is a bit helpful sometimes while charging the phone then double tap to wake double tap to sleep everything here is available the display cutout option here is available then device specific settings you can set the refresh rate to 60 90 or 120 from here and if you don't want the pill style notch then you can turn it off the pill style notch from here then moving back the dark theme option and everything the clock style these are all the clock styles available this is the android s1 the android 12 one which i am using currently and this is how it looks so yeah these are the clock styles available and the ambient display settings okay this is the launcher launcher and on swiping right we get to see the google feed option available and this is the launcher launcher just like the android 12 one and you also get to see the themed icons here so to turn this themed icons on just press and hold on the home screen go to the home settings okay, in the general you can see the icon pack and here is the option available themed icons so just turn this on and if you turn it off then this is the icons then if you turn on the themed icons then these are the themed icons just like the android 12 will be turned on and this is not the this is the android 11 so it works on each and every android version so no issues talking about the quick settings here is the ui of the quick settings a bit different and looking cool the Wi-Fi mobile data everything as usually is working screen recorder here is also available which is working dark theme toggle toggle and everything the you got to see the refresh rate toggle also everything here see is working fine talking about the camera the default camera we get here is the ANX cam which is working perfectly fine the wide angle and everything the video mode the pro video pro video mode here is not available the pro mode and everything here is available so these are all the features available and we also get to see the sticker avatars these are the avatars available and we get to see the cartoon and everything you can create your own avatar but here is a bug you cannot click the photo this is a bug present here so yeah then the another the google camera here works perfectly fine this is the 8.1 g cam available and i am making a video on this if you want then please let me know in the comment section this is like one of the best google camera available and the photos taken out from this g cam are just outstanding okay then talking about the safety net status the safety net status has passed and all the banking apps google pay all the banking apps are just working perfectly fine no issues talking about the geekbench scores the geekbench scores here are just not that great are good average 527 and 1658 so the scores are good compared to the android 12 so these were the scores of and talking about the enter to benchmark scores scores are 338000 for the enter to benchmark so the scores the performance on this rom here is just not an issue the app drawer everything the smoothness on this rom is just great so no issues as i am shooting this video at 30 fps so you will not notice the 120 hertz display but uh, the performance on this rom here is just not an issue everything the gaming performance the pubg here the, is also working perfectly fine then talking about the the rn info we get to see the widevine l1 certification so no issues with that too but in the amazon prime the full hd videos are just not working talking about the calling app this is the calling app available this is looking like the oneplus calling app and also the dialer here is oneplus as you can see this is how is the dialer so this is the dialer app and you can also record the calls mute and everything so these are all the features available then talking about the bugs here I had faced that once the gesture bar was just not working, the gesture bar stopped working. I have to switch to three button navigation and restart the phone to turn on the gesture bar. The gesture bar just sometimes stopped working. There is no hang issue, everything here, double tap to wake, double tap to sleep and everything, finger and scanner, everything here is so far working. As this is an Android 11 ROM, there are no such major bugs everything to calling browsing camera everything here is working perfectly fine battle life here is also better than android 12 so yeah that is it for now if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to hit the like button 
if you are new to this channel then please guys subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions then you can ask me in the comment section below or in the telegram group i'll meet you in the next one till then stay safe have fun and bye